from fishing platforms perched high above this narrow rocky gorge on the Klickitat River. Yakima Nation tribal members have caught salmon and steelhead for generations. But another tool besides fishing nets and platforms will soon be used to catch fish in this part of the river. Scientists will be using a new fishway to trap migrating salmon and steelhead, not for harvest, but to help fish survive. We've done several things here on this fishway, modernized it and uh, allowed it to operate over a wider range of flows. The Yakima Nation is completely renovating the old fishway located in the section of the river known as Lyle Falls. This used to be the footprint of the old ladder that was constructed in 1949 to the early 50s. Uh, we've Bill Sharp of the Yakima the Nation manages the Lyle Falls project. He says the new fishway improves the old one by moving the outlet almost 400 feet upstream. It now empties into a deep river pool and includes other features to help fish pass more easily around a 17-foot river drop. Absolutely a state-of-the-art facility that will uh, uh, do wonders for hatchery reform and increasing productivity in this space. The project also includes a fish lift similar to this one on the Umatilla River. It helps salmon and steelhead trapped for research and hatchery stock remain healthy in cool river water as scientists move them from the fish lift to a nearby workup trailer. Once there, biologists can tag, measure, and sample before returning the fish to the river, or they can transport salmon and steelhead for brood stock to the upriver Klickitat hatchery. The renovation will help the tribe trap more wild fish and hopefully strengthen the gene pool in their hatchery brood stock. Sharp believes the efforts could double Klickitat salmon and steelhead runs. Produce fish for the tribal fishermen, increased harvest for um, you know, the, the sportsmen in the Columbia, as well as all those fishers up and down the coast. The Bonneville Power Administration is funding the Lyle Falls project. BPA project manager Mary Todd Haight says the Yakima Nation should be praised for their efforts. The activities and actions that they're putting on the ground right now, they're doing it for people in the future, for their, their people in the future. Um, and I think that's wise and uh, it's a good example to learn, learn from. I used to come here with a, as a little girl with my grandparents and my mom. We used to come here for gatherings, for dinners. For Tribal member and laborer Delilah Begay works on the construction project but she also fishes at Lyle Falls and recalls visiting the tribe's historic fishing grounds as a child. And now I have my children of my own and I've bring, brought them down here and I've taught them how we keep doing, gathering the food and how we fish. In addition to work at Lyle Falls, the Yakima Nation has also removed several man-made barriers and restored acres of habitat elsewhere on the Klickitat. The efforts have reopened an estimated 33 miles of spawning grounds for salmon and 50 miles for steelhead. Good for fish and the Yakima people. Yes, this project will bring back the numbers of fish and that is a real good positive outlook for the fish and for the people along the river.